I want to ask if we can have maybe rows of five. If you don't mind locking arms to demonstrate that unity. And uh, I don't want us to do chants. I want you to get to know the people that you're walking with. So if you can form a line with maybe somebody that you've never met before, that would be fantastic. And then the chief is gonna give us some details on how we're doing our walk with traffic and everything, all right? Okay, we're gonna walk in the street. We don't want anybody to get hurt. So we have some officers that are gonna block off the traffic for us, but it's only gonna be one way. So we wanna stay on the right side of the center line, okay? So the other, the other lane can keep going. So stay away from the center line, stay over, and we'll be fine. We're going to go up A Street here to Michigan, east on Michigan, the 7th, to 6th, to 6th, and then down 6th Street to the courthouse. Um, we're going to uh, have some short words there. Then when we get done, we're going to go back south on 6th Street to Pennsylvania and go west on 10 to 9th Street here, and then we'll bring 9th Street back. Okay? Thanks, everybody, for coming. I think it's fantastic that all of you will come out and show your support. To me, it's a, it's a beautiful sight to see so many different people of different ethnicities. And uh, I believe this is how it's supposed to be. Instead of focusing on what divides us, let's, let's come together and focus on what unites us. And we're doing this in front of the courthouse as a, a symbol of justice, but also righteousness. And that's where this is supposed to happen. And uh, we're going to get started. All of us are going to make it brief uh, because I believe actions speak just as loud as words. So uh, first we have our city administrator, Todd Wolf, coming up with the message. Please give a round of applause. Thank you, everybody. This is a great, a great time. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, Mike Vanderstein wasn't able to make it, but he did ask me to present a little bit, of, a few words from him. So I'll, I'll read what he, uh, what he provided me. We thank uh, Michael Thomas and the Black American Community Outreach members for organizing the Community Unity March today. This event allows the city of Sheboygan to express our concern about the distressing events that continue to occur around the United States and here in Wisconsin. I'm saddened, we are saddened, by the recent events in Kenosha and seek to understand the actions of the officers involved. As a community, Sheboygan continues to work on diversity and inclusion and seek a community where all residents and neighbors are treated with digni dignity and respect. We hear you and want to, you to know that we are committed to building relationships to earn your trust. We must continue to eliminate racial disparity and support efforts to increase diversity and promote racial equality in Sheboygan. Thank you for your participation today in the march. And that was Mike Vandersteen and myself.
Thank you. That was a beautiful message. And now we have a word from our very own uh, police chief, Chris Domagowski. Yeah, so unfortunately nothing rehearsed, but really what, what I really want to say is, first of all, thanks for everybody that, that came out. We really appreciate um, everybody taking the time out of their lives to come together and, and show the importance uh, of us being unified in the community. It, it should be obvious to everybody that we still have a, we've made a lot of progress, but we still have a lot, a lot of work to do. In order to accomplish that, we need to work together to get it done. Um, one of the things that's important is that we listen to each other. So be civil to each other. Take the time not only to talk and to share our message, but to listen to what everybody else has to say and figure out what we can agree on rather than focusing on what we don't agree on and form goals and move together from there. Um, so I just really want to thank um, uh, Mike, Black Americans for Community Outreach, Corey, Deontay, everybody who's taken the time to, to meet with us tell us some of their concerns, tell us how they believe that we can move forward, and tell us how we can support them and assist them in, in doing that. And so I, I really look forward to all the things that we have planned so far. But more importantly, I really look forward to the leadership that they've stepped up and started to show and look forward to seeing that grow and really take off in this community because I think it's really needed and it's really the way to move forward. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, uh, Sheriff. Uh, I want to thank the police department. I want to thank the Sheriff's Department, uh, the city, and all of you who have come out here and, and shown your support. You know, as a pastor, I can speak and preach all day, but I d decided I was only going to give two minutes. And so um, I did write something out, and if you would bear with me as I uh, try to say it all. Um, as I was preparing for this event, there was backlash that was brought to my attention. There were complaints that uh, we might be walking in the streets and making it inconvenient for people. There was complaints that this might be just another Black Lives Matter movement. There was complaints that we would be walking with police officers who brutalize us and, and city people who just oppress us. And these different types of narratives are the things that we need to change and really only speak as to why this, un this walk for unity is needed. With so much unrest that's going on right now, it's clear that there are issues that need to be addressed and corrected. Besides all the horrific things that have happened and are well documented throughout the many years of our country and the, the recent events that we've witnessed from Jacob Blake and Breonna Taylor, just to name a few, the Black American Community Outreach is still dedicated to our mission. And that mission is to uplift and empower the entire community in which we live. The entire community in which we live. We are committed to it. In partnership with the city and the police department, we look to build bridges and not walls. And we're calling on you to build these bridges with us. Bridges that put an end to systemic racism. Bridges that put an end to injustice. Bridges that lead to equitable community and bridges that lead to diversity inclusion. The time is now. It's more urgent than ever. We ask that you would join us in partnership with the police department, the city government and administration. We've already begun talks for diversity and education and intentional workforce inclusion, as well as pop-up barbecues coming to uh, a park near you and so much more. It's important that we work together, not just for the city of Sheboygan, but to be an example for communities all over the place. I'd like to leave you with a Bible scripture. You know I had to. 
<laughs> Mark chapter 3, verse 24. If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. We must come together and be united. Join us, please. If you don't mind, I'd like to say a quick prayer, and then we'll continue on with our walk. Please join me. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for every soul that has decided to participate today. Lord God, I pray that you would just bless them in a mighty way, Lord, uh, in a way that is completely obvious that it is your hand over their life. And God, I just pray that you would continue to keep us united. God, I pray that this would just be the beginning, Lord, that we would continue to bring people in and that they would look to be a, a, a bridge and a helper of their fellow man. Lord God, we thank you so much for all that you are doing and continuing to do. We love you and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.